clean fuel on the environment is still happening today, as it has in the past. However, today, more and more people are turning to a different kind of fuel, alcohol. Alcohol was used just as much as fossil fuels back at the start of the motorized era. However, the more organized and powerful petroleum industry lobbied successfully for the use of superior gasoline fuels. Alcohol and gasoline have many differences between them. However, b between both of them, alcohol is arguably the better fuel. Alcohol has a higher octane rating, which results in more power per stroke, greater efficiency, and better economy. It burns clean, so it won't harm the environment or the inside of your car engine, and alcohol runs cooler than gasoline, so it won't harm your engine and much extend the life of your car engine. More and more car companies have started making cars that come with alcohol-fueled engines, and just as many gas companies have started selling alcohol as a fuel. Climate change has always been an important issue in our society, especially today in Africa. Here's to Deborah in Ethiopia on more about the subject. Thank you, Sally. Now here in Africa, we already have several civil wars breaking out between villages as a result of the changing weather and others that are likely to erupt in the coming months. Already, there have been over 450,000 casualties as a result of the sudden swell of civil wars, which is 400,000 more, more than 2010. Wow, that's a pretty big difference between now and 20 years ago. Now, how exactly does climate change relate to this increase in fighting? Well, Sally, the lives of a large majority of Africans depend on farming crops that are very sensitive to subtle changes in the environment. The re recent rise in temperature has had a significant effect on the livelihoods of Africans, and so they are more likely to rake arms. Do you know of any other places where effects of climate change have been particularly bad? Climate change affects everyone worldwide, but I'd have to say that China and the Philippines have it pretty bad right now. Currently, 35 million people in those two countries are at heavy risk of having their homes flooded by the rising sea levels, and about 30 million have already been flooded out of their houses. Hmm. I suggest we pray that all the flood victims out there get everything they need and eventually get their homes back. Do you have anything else to say before we switch over back to the program, Deborah? Well, I've heard that America will also be heavily af affected by the climate change. Be on the lookout for more mass migrations and civil unrest to occur sometime in the future. Thank you for that wonderful report on the civil unrest in Africa, Deborah. Next, we have a researcher on the subject here to tell us about how climate change affects disease, and it's more than you may think. We found that the increase of disease caused by unsanitary water and insects has risen in the past 20 years as a result of climate change. Both factors influenced by the changing climate, floods caused by altered weather pa patterns heighten the likelihood of contaminated water, and the warmer temperatures cause more activity in insects. We also approximate the amount of people infected by malaria to be 4% higher than those infected in 2010. The 3 degrees Celsius increase in global temperatures has ca also caused 10% more waterborne diseases than 20 years ago. We have also found that this trend tends to affect children more. What are you and your team of researchers doing to fix this? As of now, we are on the verge of finding a new vaccine to a lethal new strain of malaria. And as soon as we are, it is finished, it is, we will promptly send it to those who are in need of it. Thanks for the good work and keep it up. I'm afraid that's all the time we have today for the Eco Corner. Many teachers and parents alike strive for stronger bonds and connections. However, still most schools are struggling to develop relationships to benefit and increase the quality of education in children and students. An honest interest and involvement from parents can result in amazing progress in their children academically, as well as an overwhelmingly new attitude of wanting an enriched education. So, we'll teach you how to take the first step to get in touch and have an impact in your child's life towards improving attendance, cooperation between teachers and other students, information recognition and retention, lowering dropout rates, and a large-scale rate of achievement. <coughs> Before this decade, there was a strong focus on parental involvement only, rather than the crucial family involvement. This unintentional rejection of non-household persons is a dramatic 
decrease from what can be a significant difference in the education of your child. In home environments, with support from others towards achieving a common goal within a caring atmosphere, full potential can be reached. And this is truly the case today. <coughs> Braun Frimbrimmer, a past author and researcher, had predicted this outcome, and it's safe to say that we are proving this now with studies and new ways to reach out towards students. It has been proved time and time again that the blood-related biological parents of students in the, both the maternal and paternal unit spend more time with their children regarding school-related activities. Single parents or divorcees display a lesser interest in their school life, which equates to a less involvement as well. Mothers, on the other hand, have been statistically more helpful with homework, whereas fathers in a single parent role or as a stepfather were significantly less likely to provide assistance. These days, it is common knowledge as children across states have access to technological resources such as the all-popular video chat to those who care and are willing to talk or listen. It is suggested that you start your children young in this habit so it becomes normalized to them in the future so that they feel no discomfort towards chatting grandma about history or bringing up their grades with their guardians. It has been proven that an only child will tend to have higher performance than those with brothers or sisters because of the lack of devotion from parents. Being in a healthy, loving environment with a mother and a father and a reasonable number of children to care for is at this moment the best position to be in if your child should want a higher education and academic achievement. <coughs> the most common aspect of a child's educational life that parents become involved in is helping with homework. As simple as it seems, some parents complain that lack of free time and other outside problems hold them back from becoming a closer part in their children's lives, when this is not the case. If you, as a parent, feel that there is something lacking in your involvement in your child's life, then there are definitely many things that you can do to fix and mend the problem and generate solutions for these issues. A growing fad is the parent workshop meetings, in which parents learn what they can do to teach their kids and even review material for specific subjects. There is an online version workshop for all public schools in the country to be accessed at your convenience. And you can also apply for individual updated student reviews weekly, monthly, or by word of mouth from their teacher. They are sent online to your phone or handheld or by video chat with permission from the school. Like your children, you need to put to good use the various multimedia communication devices to stay in contact with your family so students have a reason to want to learn from healthy home relationships and environments. 